Boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. We're on the Middlewich branch of the Shropshire Union Canal and in this video I'm going to travel as far as Church Minchell. We're starting out between Bridge 4 and Chumston Lock. This is an evening cruise and we've got lovely weather for it. Let's have a quick look at the map. We're starting off at the start point down at the bottom left of the screen and we're travelling up to the end point at the top right. On the way we're going through two locks, Chumston Lock and Minshaw Lock, uh, but before Chumston Lock I'm going to stop and get some water. This is a very rural canal so for the entire trip we should be travelling through really quite pretty countryside. These are pleasant visitor moorings along here, often quite busy. And there on the left is the water point. Blink and you'll miss it. This is the first lock, Chumston Lock it's called. And they're all, there's four locks on this canal and they're all pretty deep, they're all round about 11 feet. It looks like there's a boat waiting to come up as well, so I'll probably get some help on this lock. This is four times normal speed now. So we come out of the lock, we go under bridge 5, which is a road bridge, and then immediately on our right is Venetian Marina, and if you need to stop for diesel or gas or anything like that, you would pull in here to the right. This is where they serve the customers. 
This, as I've said, is an evening cruise, and this whole area can get very busy during the day in the summer. There's plenty of good moorings on the other side of the railway bridge here, and absolutely ideal if you're a train spotter. not stopped here myself and as you can see it's, it's very very open. I should imagine if the weather is windy or particularly hot and sunny it would be quite unpleasant here but otherwise on a lovely calm evening like today um, it's, it's a really nice little place to stop. Now we enter a long wooded cutting. There are some visitor moorings just up ahead, like a little picnic area as well. And on the right up here there's a winding hole.
This is Minchel Lock, it's another deep one. On the right is Aqueduct Marina. We're carrying straight on. There's some very nice visitor moorings just after this narrow bit.
this is the remains of an old bridge. If you look closely, you might see a squirrel on the top of that bridge. There's some very pleasant moorings between bridges 12 and 13. There's nothing here apart from some lovely views of the countryside. This is a photo I took from here on a very frosty morning. Just on the other side of Bridge 13, there's a footpath which leads through the woods um, towards the village of Church Minchel. There's a pub there, and that's about it, and the walk through the woods is very pretty, but don't do it in the, tr in the dark if you've had a few drinks. The path is quite tricky, and it's very dark under those trees, so you have been warned. Bridge 14 here is the roadway into Church Minchel. Um, you'd think it should be a quiet little country lane, but it's an insanely busy little road and there's no pavement, so you've got to be really careful. You're probably better off braving the footpath way in. Well, the evening is getting late. This is where I decided to moor just around the corner a little bit. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this trip. The journey will continue in the next video, of course. So until then, I'll see you next time.